Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Gorov. Hi, nice to meet you all. So, I'll just get started. This is Arion ER20 and uh, I've been using Arion filaments for a while now and I really like them. Uh, so when I knew like they make 3D printers, so uh, I wanted to give it a shot. And uh, there were some really cool Black Friday deals going on, so I grabbed uh, an ER20 and a Thinker S, which is behind the camera right now. I'm just gonna give you guys a quick glimpse of it as well. So, having said that, uh, without further ado, uh, I'm just gonna get started and. I would appreciate it if any any feedback or if you like something, if you dislike something, just let me know. I'm gonna try and time slice this video so and post those uh, uh, you know quick links in the description as well. So if you want to skip to a different part, you can easily. You don't have to go through the whole uh, video. And uh, uh, with that, uh, let's get started. All right. So this here is my Arion Thinker S. I really, really like this machine. It's really well built, really quiet. So I have kind of high expectations from ER20. Uh, really big uh, build volume, 300 by 300 by 400. I really love this scale ruler here. And I'm expecting ER20 has the same. Uh, some of the prints that I did on my Thinker S, it's bone stock machine. The only thing that I changed was this little parts cooling fan. Uh, which I found this to be uh, having better vents. Uh, the difference can be seen here. This was with the stock machine and this was with the new parts cooling uh, fan. So I'm just gonna get to ER20 now and let's do this. Okay, so here are the quick points. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna unbox, inspect the hardware, then do the assembly, do the bed level with BL touch, Test prints on the SD card, calibration and benchy, calibration E steps and stuff. And then our test prints and then recap and final thoughts. All right, so let's get started. All right, let's unbox Arion ER20. Okay. All right, looks nice. Looks nicely packaged. There's some sample spool, pass it aside. There's the user manual. Let's take a look at this guy. Quick assembly overview. Prepare assembly steps, uh, prepared assembly video. Oh, looks like they don't have the assembly steps in the manual. It's on the SD card. I'm gonna we're gonna open up and look for the SD card and then see what's in there. Uh, calibration and print, okay, that's interesting. Good stuff. Looks like a nice user guide. Safety information, table of contents, printer specs, packaging. This is all standard stuff. What's next, that's a, is it all English? Oh, screen introduction, LCD layout. Oh, that's a lot of detail. I haven't seen many machines, oh. That explain the whole LCD menu. This is cool, especially for beginners. This is this is good stuff. You guys really want to know what those menu op menu options mean. There's a ton of them, as you can see. So this is really good for beginners, and I as well, because a lot of those options I don't even know what they mean. So this is gonna be this is gonna be nice. I'm gonna have to read through this in my free time. Install the drive. Oh, they got slicer and drivers information as well. Uh, looks like it's all about how to set up the printer profile and all that in Cura. Yeah, download steps, blah blah blah. How to import parameters, slice. Very nice. Oh, they have. Wait, what? Firmware update. Oh, they have their own firmware flash tool. I'm gonna have to check that out as well. Interesting. All right. Everyone, I am impressed. There's some troubleshooting steps as well in printer maintenance. Very cool. I like it. Right. Let's see what we have in this box. This looks like a really thick foam, nicely packaged. That's good. good stuff. Oh, it's really thick. Toss it away. 
Ah, uh, there is really nice. I like it. I really like their matte black and orange combination. It's, it's really cool. And the ruler is there. It's awesome for making sure that the X gantry is level with your with your bed. It's level on the Z. It's really good. Let's take this out. And it comes pre-assembled, semi-assembled. I shouldn't say pre-assembled, it's semi-assembled. Uh, I think it has dual Z screws as well. Yep, dual lead Z screws. I'm gonna put this aside, be careful. Don't toss this around, this is the hard end. It's already pre-assembled, so I'll be careful with that. And here's the glass bed. And, oh, it's all assembled. Okay, that's that's cool. What do we have in this box? This is the packing list. It's got installed screws, SD card, USB cable, filament holder, toolkit, extra gifts. I want to see what all they give you for free and some spare screws which is really really good you will lose one of those screws someday so that's 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 cool what do they have in here all sorts of goodness all right so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get rid of all this and lay this all out out oh, here there's your z dual Z lead screws. So I'm gonna take all of this out, unpackage it, and then we'll get started, all right? Now be careful when you take this out. Use both hands, it's nicely packaged. It's not too heavy. Just take your time, don't rush it. Do not rush it, once again. Do not rush it. Take your time. This looks like a really nicely packaged machine. I'm really digging the build quality here. Look at this, it's beautiful. I really like this nice texture here. Yeah, it's mostly assembled. I'm gonna leave these on. I don't like these binder clips. I think they send you better bed clips. We'll see about that in a minute. And yeah, looks nice. All right, let's see what came in this packaging list. There are all the screws that you need for the assembly and I believe these are the bed clips. They are really low profile. I. I really like them already. Here are your free gifts. Uh, the nozzle pot poker, a spare piece of Bowden tube, a belt, awesome. This is awesome, they actually give you a spare belt, nice. Some pneumatic couplers, a nozzle, spare nozzle, uh, and some spare screws, very cool. And here we have the SD card, the knob, and the US, no, where's the USB cable? SD card and the knob, and the USB adapter for the SD card. Oh, here's the, uh, here's the USB cable, which is also really cool, because a lot of companies don't even care about giving you this. Uh, so yeah, and here's your regular spatula, don't use it on the glass bed or PEI sheet. You're gonna end up scr scratching it. This is only for emergency purposes, for removing some of those really big darn prints that are hard to come off the glass bed even after cooling it off, to kind of carefully pry the corners. Just don't use this on your glass bed, please. Save yourself from the misery of all the scratches and the trouble. So, uh, spool holder mount. And the snips and the allen keys and other stuff the tools uh, screwdriver okay all right here we are guys this is everything that was in the box and it is all out now so 
we are done with our step number one which is unbox we're gonna move on to step number two which is inspecting the hardware and let's do this all right this nobody says usually but I always make sure go over everything in the hardware make sure everything is nice and tight because sometimes it's hard to go back and look at the base so I'm just gonna go here quick you guys can skip this part if you don't care about over this, but I just want to make sure that all these screws are nice and tight. Everything is good. Be careful when flipping things around. Rollers we can take a look at later. Uh, but more, more important is more important it is to make sure that everything is nice and secure and tight on the base. Power cable. Heating cable, be careful. This is what heats the bed. These are the cables which are going to connect to the top half. I am going to remove this bed, glass bed here. Okay. All right. Just don't want to damage it. I set it aside. Time for, for the rumors. Is it really true that there are no bed leveling knobs or springs? Let's see. Take these little foam blocks out. Don't care about these. All right. What? You, you see this? There are no bed leveling knobs or springs and this bed looks flat i am super excited those things are painful this is this is gonna be fun this is gonna be a lot of fun this is seriously, this is seriously awesome all right just gonna make sure real quick all the screws here are nice and tight. Each one that I see. You don't want these to be loose. Oh, I see something. I see something. Uh, look at this. Little piece of foam was stuck in the pulley. Look at that phone. Alright. I really like this support they have for the for the Z stepper motors, it keeps everything situated in place and the Z gantries apparently have these slots to go in, that's really nice, I really like it. And everything is like packaged very nicely, you can't really see anything, it's really nice and clean look, I love it. That's moving fine, oops, there it is. These damn Allen keys. So 
So guys, I'm gonna show you something real quick. So this right here is the Y belt tensioner. They don't really have handy belt tensioners, but what you can do is you can loosen these two screws here, pull it back like this, and tighten them down. If you think the belts are loose, they should sound like guitar strings. I think mine are a little loose, so I'm just gonna tighten them up real quick. So this kind of stuff you wanna do as part of your pre-assembly. Sorry, that was my dog. It's just better to do it now versus later. I'm just gonna loosen this up. Okay, I think that's loose enough. I'm gonna pull this back with my two fingers. You really don't want your back belts to be loose or any slack in them. You're gonna see layer shifts. Nice and tight. Yep, I can hear that twang. Make sure the rest of the hardware is tight the way it should be. Also, make sure all these screws on the bed are nice and tight. You don't want any of these to be loose because that's going to cause your bed level to be off if any of these are loose and popping out. Everyone does a good job at testing these machines because when I was assembling my Tinker S and set it up, black filament came out so that told me that they, they tested the machine before they put it back in the box for shipping so that's really cool just gonna flip it around Oops. careful Oh, see? Do you see this guy? You guys seeing this? This, this is why we do the assembly check. This right here. It's loose really loose so make sure all of these screws are nice and tight all right I'm gonna tighten this down I do not want this to be loose Make sure all these other screws are nice and tight as well. You we don't want anything to be loose. Especially on the frame. Slip ups happen, so that's why we gotta do our, our due diligence. Including the feet. 
one was a little loose. I don't want the feet to be loose. This one was loose too. Tighten them down. Tighten them down. Yes, sir, and ma'am. All right. Ooh, all right, careful. Sorry. Sorry, sweetheart. Okay. I think I got everything. We'll look at the roller wheels in a little bit as well. We just want to make sure that the these rollers are also nice and tight and not loose. It looks like there's no access to get to these rollers on the Y. So I'm just gonna hope that they're nice and tight. Well, if the bed's moving fine. I don't see any hesitations. So I'm guessing their quality control did a good job. This is really what you want. That's the whole point of those rollers. To make sure that the bed's moving, you know, without any hesitation. Looks, looks good to me. All right. Just do the same things for the upper gantry system and everything. Make sure all these screws are nice and tight. All these screws are loose, including the wheel touch. Do not over tighten them and you should be fine. So I think we are ready for the assembly.